Nick, what are the success points of that hockey game for this team? Good start, uh, good goaltending, and yeah. What do you like about that first period? Uh, I thought we played with a lot of pace, and um, I thought we made a lot of good decisions with the puck, and uh, we got rewarded. What do you look at uh, in that third period? Obviously, it's got to change for you guys. You're, you're up by a ton of goals, and what do you guys do to change what you're doing? I uh, just don't be complacent, really, I think is the biggest thing. Um, yeah, obviously, you know, we play these guys again tomorrow, so we got to come out strong and kind of not let them ride whatever momentum they may think they got at the third period. There's a lot of penalties drop into that third period. Uh, you guys look to clean that up tomorrow? Yeah, obviously, uh, staying out of the box would be important, and um, I think we can start the way we did today and keep that going over 60 minutes. Uh, we'll like the result. Nice playmaking going on out there. You guys, a lot of con a lot of contributions as far as passes put in the right location. Is that something that you feel has come together for this hockey team? Yeah, obviously, I think, you know, we're getting toward the end of the season, so chemistry is, is picking up a little bit. And, uh, yeah, obviously, we just want to continue to execute going uh, down the stretch. What can you say about Dennis Hildeby's contribution here in the last month? Uh, I know all season, but he just seems to have hit another level. I mean, it's huge, obviously, you know, he, he's been our best player really consistently all year. And, um, you know, the reason we've had a lot of success, I think, over the last month is attributed to him. What has it been like to see Roni's success given, you know, what happened in his eye injury earlier this season? Yeah, it's been awesome. Um, you know, it obviously was really unfortunate what happened. And, um, you know, I think he's really starting to find his game again. And obviously tonight, you know, you see plays he's making with the puck. Uh, it's good. He's got a lot of confidence. We're going to need him down the stretch. Nobody at this time of year says they're literally watching the standings every game, but collectively, do you guys see like this, wins like this give you an opening? You can move up here. Yeah, obviously, you know, um, our division is definitely the tightest in the league for sure, at top to bottom. Um, so the biggest thing for us is we just got to control the points that we can go get, and you know, whatever happens around us happens. So you know, we just got to focus on getting as many points as we can. Dennis, how did that game feel for you? Uh, it was fun. It was, uh, it's a lot of, a lot of shots, a lot, of, a lot for me to do, obviously. So you always like that as a goalie, especially in a kind of controlled way. Uh, I think we handled their pressure very well with, uh, you know, keeping them on the outside, or, or when they got open chances, they had a lot of pressure on them. So they, I think it was good control chaos. It doesn't seem like until the third period that they got a lot of good quality shots. Did you feel that way? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, and that's that's not weird. I mean, we're up five to one. Uh, they have a lot of power plays, so the boys are going to get tired there and let up uh, a few chances, obviously. But as I said, you know, there weren't any 100% clear chances. They were always under a lot of pressure, so they made it played as good as they could. You got one of the best views of the hockey game. How do you feel the team played today, uh, especially trying to shut them down at the end? I mean, those those questions are always hard for me. You know, I'm a, I'm a goalie. I don't really know hockey <laughs> that well. Uh, so all I can think about is, uh, I mean, I felt we were under a little more pressure today than normally. But at the same time, that's something you got to get be comfortable with and I think we handled that well today uh, but uh, most games this year I feel like we've been uh, more in their end but yeah what do you think the biggest thing in the last month that's allowed you to have the success that you're having right now uh, to be completely honest with you I think my my game has been a kind of inconsistent this last month or two but uh, I mean uh, so I don't really know how to answer that. I haven't thought about in that in that way. Uh, but I think like over a long season like this, uh, it's very important just to take it day by day and, uh, and uh, enjoy the ride, not think too far ahead or think about the past too much. And that's a learning process too, which which I've gotten better at it's longer the season has gone, I think. What specifically has been inconsistent? Because you've been a very good goalie in the ranking, so where? where is uh, it? No, I mean that's just my view. Maybe I'm. Maybe I haven't analyzed that enough. I, I don't know. 
I think I've let in a couple too many goals, too many easy goals uh, over the past few months. But uh, the game in general has been has been good. I am happy with that. But it's just small portions of my game that I feel I've been uh, not not too good. John, what do you think of the performance of your hockey club this afternoon? Well, I loved our start. Um, I thought we brought we had a lot of legs. Uh, we were we were rolling. We we were disciplined and. Um, you know, once we took that 5-1 lead, even sometimes during the second period, I thought we got away from our game. But we knew they were going to have a push. But at the end of the day, it's all about the two points we got. We did what we had to do, and uh, we won a hockey game, and now we just got to work on some things be better for tomorrow's game. Is there such thing as running a trend into, into a game the next day? In that third period, I know you guys probably didn't want to take the amount of penalties you took. No, we did not. Um, I thought, again, we, I thought we did a lot of good things. Um, we, we got away from the discipline a little bit, and, you know, we don't want that to have to catch up to us. Our penalty kill and Dennis did a great job to obviously do their job and to keep them off the scoreboard. But tomorrow's another, another day. It's, it's tough to win back-to-back -back in this games um, when you play the same opponent. So we're going to have to get refocused and bring that same energy that we started with and uh, go out there and get ourselves the best chance to win a hockey game. Dennis, uh, you mentioned him and, and his contribution. Do you feel that he has actually improved over the course of this month? It seems like he's playing better in goal. Yeah, I mean, he's 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 been really good the last few games here for us. Um, you know, it's been a long year for him. He's played a lot of hockey uh, and being his first year. Um, so it's it's a lot to ask for, for from, a, from a rookie goaltender. But he's, he's answered the bell. He, he likes the moment. Um, and he was obviously outstanding for us tonight, um, which was which was huge. Are you seeing something new out of Nick Abrazizi as well? He seems to have really elevated his game. Well, he's one thing with him, like regardless of what happens in the shift before, if he has a bad one, he goes out and he and he likes the puck on his stick, and we see what what, what he can do when he has it. Uh, he makes plays, makes makes people around him better. And uh, Shazi is benefiting from that, and but he also is putting himself in the right spot as well. So it's again, it's nice to see that they're still clicking even without Bellows losing Bellows for a while. What did you see from Quillen today? I, I thought he did a really good job. I mean, you can see he comes from a winning culture in a college program. Quinnipiac is is one of the best. He understands the little things on how to win. Um, we'll probably give him a look at center tomorrow, but he skates well. He thinks the game well and. Again, if we can stay out of the penalty box, hopefully he can get some more uh, five on five time. You said yesterday about Roney taking another gear, hitting another gear. Was today the part of that? I, I think, I, again, I'm not a mind reader or nor I have a crystal ball, but you could see it coming, you know, and I'm just glad for his confidence that he was able to score two really nice goals at, in a big, crucial times of the game to give ourselves a, and, and to win that hockey game. You have someone like Quillen come in this late in the season. How do you integrate them into the team so quickly, and who helps them get uh, up to speed? Yeah, well, we, we show them a couple of things systematically that we do that might be different from how we played in college, but we don't want to over give him too much if it's, we're overloading where he's almost paralyzed out there. So we got to give him some nuts and bolts without trying to give him too much. And then we got to gauge on to see if he can handle it or not is by how much we give him. But he, he was receptive. He had questions, and you know, we we had we sat down, and me and the and the coaches talked to him, and but he he handled it really well. I thought he did, definitely didn't look out of place, look comfortable, and uh, it's exciting moving forward. Any update on Kyle Clifford at all? No, it's uh, it was it was a, I watched the replay of how he we went into the the wall there. We'll have to he's he'll get evaluated, and then we'll see where it goes from there. Yeah, thanks, John.